Now talking about our next concept in OOPS is abstraction, right? Now, what it is, it is the process of displaying essential information and hiding the implementation details, right? Now, if I have to give a real time example or a real world example to you, it could be a ATM machine, right? So whenever you go to an ATM machine and you perform some operations like cash withdrawal or uh, getting a mini statement or changing um, your OTP, right? So there could be a number of different operations which you can perform on the ATM machine. But do you uh, uh, get an idea of what is happening behind the scenes? Like how it is being implemented inside the ATM machine? No, right? We just uh, see um, if we are doing a cash withdrawal, it will give out the cash, right? We don't know how, um, what is happening behind the scenes, how it is uh, getting the cash and how it is doing it, the calculations and everything, right? So that's what is all about. Uh, it is the process of abstracting the user from all the implementation which is happening behind the scenes and only displaying what is intended, what is uh, expected it for the system to display, right? So the same concept you have to apply in your code design, right? So whenever you are designing any code, you need to think of uh, if you are putting up a template, right? F where um, you will define a number of different methods, but now, right now you don't know how to implement those methods. Right, you just uh, design the template, and then when you are working, when you get the requirements, then you kind of create other classes where you implement those uh, methods. Right, so that's where abstraction could be used. Okay, so in Java, abstraction is achieved by interfaces and abstract classes. Now both could be used uh, if you want to perform data abstraction, but there is some difference, right? So interfaces provide you with 100% abstraction. And what I mean is uh, interfaces will have only abstract methods. No non-abstract methods will be present in interfaces, but compare it to abstract class, it can have both the abstract methods and the non-abstract methods. Now, what do I mean by abstract methods, right? So abstract methods are methods which are declared without any implementation. So they will just have the declaration. There is no implementation inside those methods. So these methods are called abstract methods and interfaces ha have these by default. You cannot define implementation inside the methods which are present in the interface, but you can do that in an abstract class, right? So that's the difference. And please remember this because it's again, a very uh, favorite question um, in interviews, like what's the difference between abstraction and interface, okay? Now let's see it in action, how we can use abstract classes and interfaces in our projects, right? How it can be used and how it can be implemented. So, Let's go back to our project. And here I'm going to declare or create another class, which I will call it flights, right? And what I will do here is I will make this class abstract, right? So it will contain some abstract and non-abstract methods. So my first or my first method is an abstract method and that's get timings. Okay. So what it means is it will not have any implementation. I'm just declaring this method here. Okay. And then I could have a non abstract method here, which is public void get seats. And inside this, I will have a simple um, print statement, which will kind of print something. Okay, so that's our implementation for this method. So print the seats. Okay, so, so this is an abstract method and this is a non-abstract method. And this is an abstract class, right? Now, if I'm going to use this class 
in some other classes, right? So how you can do that? So let's create another class, which is called uh, Indigo. And this is another flight company. So it is going to extend the abstract flights class. Okay, so what I'm going to do is again, I'm going to use this keyword extends, but in this case, we are using an abstract class. So there is a different way of implementing this, right? Okay, so this is what, and then now it is showing error because we need to uh, implement a particular class, right? Or method. So which is get seats or sorry, get timings. So let's declare this method here. Um, get timings, right? And then uh, what we are going to do is we are going to give the implementation here, right? So again, it could be a simple print statement. Oh, print flight timings. Okay, so as you can see, this is being implemented here, this method, and we are also overriding the existing method with the implementation, right? So the error is gone now, as you can see. So whenever you are extending a abstract class, you need to implement the method which is defined abstract as abstract, okay? Now, um, coming to interface, right? So when I can create a interface, so let's do that. So when I define, um, when I create a new class here, there are different types of class, right? So I can select an interface and then I can say, um, I can say company, okay? So any company, doesn't matter. Uh, I'm just trying to show you an example. So inside this, um, what I will do is I will define a method called get um, get products, okay? So I will say void here and it's by default, it is abstract. So you cannot declare or you cannot have any implementation inside this. So Okay, so let's let's try to implement something inside this method, right? And as soon as I do that, you will see there is an error uh, shown by Java, which is saying interface abstract methods cannot have a body, right? So that means no implementation, okay? So let's change it back. And if now I create another class, which is called, um, something CSC, right? Now it's it's a company and it is trying to implement the interface, right? So let's say company. Now mark the difference between abstract class and interface. When you are implementing an interface, you need to use the keyword implements instead of extents. When you are using an abstract class, you need to use apps, uh, extents, okay? So now what we need to do is we need to um, call the same method here, which is get products, right? Again, we need to override that. And inside this, we can have the body. So that's anything basically. So product names. Okay, so this is the implementation and we are overriding the 
interface right now overriding the method in the interface okay so um, this is how you can um, basically apply uh, abstraction using interface as well as abstract class now when you want to use interface and when you want to use abstract class completely depends on your code design when you want to have a combination of abstract and non-abstract methods you can use abstract class when you want to you have only abstract complete abstraction um, so that time you can go with interface okay so um, that's all about abstraction so in the next section we are going to look at our final concept which is called polymorphism